Hello and welcome to Indoor Wembley here at St George's Park where I'm joined by England Under 21 manager and a rarity, uh, former Crystal Palace title winning captain, uh, Gareth Southgate. Thanks for taking the time to talk to us. Pleasure. So this place here, St George's Park, you're based here quite a lot of the time. Yeah, our officers are here. Um, obviously when the teams are here, we, we stay here. So um, this indoor is, is used a lot by the international teams, club sides, for coaching courses exact replica of um, scale of Wembley. So our women's team used this facility because the, their World Cup was all based on uh, artificial pitches, so that was a, a big help for them. The Palace team have been here pre-season. Have you been over and said hello? Yeah, I had dinner with Alan and with John Solarco the other night, so uh, that was good to uh, catch up, briefly reminisce, but also to hear their plans and uh, share ideas on football and, and coaching and players, which is always, uh, that's one of the beauties of the centre. There's always football people coming through here. It's not just England, but lots of clubs use the facility. And you're a young player under Alan Parge. What was he like as a senior player for the youngsters? Um, well, it was an education on and off the field. Um, but he was, um, I have to say, he was really good um, with the younger players. He was one of the senior pros. Looking back, you could see why he would go into coaching. It was a real sort of hostile environment created partly by the staff but also the players that came in there was a real hunger amongst the players so as a young player going into train with the first team you know Brighty was on your case all the time or Alan was having a go at you and and you had to it was sink or swim but I think that you know in essence you have to come through those things as a young player. Southgate! Oh, at Southgate. What an you started off midfield didn't you move back to to defence but quite it normally happens earlier on in people's careers, doesn't it? But how come that came about? Um, well, basically, I wasn't good enough in midfield. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly the year we won the championship, um, I think I got nine goals for, in the league that year. So that worked, but I don't think I'd have progressed to play international football as a midfield player. I wasn't so good at receiving, um, receiving with my back to goal. That wasn't something that we were brought up and, and taught as kids at, at Palace. Um, when I went to the back, I was a better ball playing centre back because of my experiences in midfield, but also the game was in front of me and I could, I could see pictures develop quicker, so um, it, it, it worked really well. I sound like a, your super fan now. Uh, Woody and Nord's <laughs> book is uh, one of my favourite sports books, all, it's my favourite sports book of all time, one of my favourite books. It must be good to see, because the, the book kind of tells the difference between your career and Andy Woodman's. Yeah. It must be good for you seeing him as a coach, he's doing really well, isn't he? He is, and, yeah. and, and that's what I wanted. I, you know, I wasn't interested in telling my story. It was more that there's another side to football, um, that people can start together in a youth team and go their different ways. And when we had a youth team, when I first played South East Counties, John Solarco was in the team, Richard Shaw, both, both involved with England at later times. Chris Powell was a year older than me. So, um, you know, for all those success stories, there were guys that didn't make it or went into the lower divisions or non-league that the, the game was much tougher for. And, um, you know, you're, you're fortunate that at certain times in your career, opportunities happened for you that maybe didn't happen for them. And then you've got to be ready to take them, really. Throughout my career, I played in some really good teams and was fortunate to, to play in some big matches. But the period at Palace was maybe because you grow up there, it's the bit that you feel most affinity to, um, group of players that grew up together and the experiences when you're teenagers and early 20s, you, you have a closer bond I think than when you're an older player. 